We're talking with Chris St. Clair, one of the co-directors for Free Burma Rangers. It is a documentary film that's coming to theaters uh, later in February, February 24th and 5th. And Chris, talk a little bit about the dynamic of the documentary as well. Like, what is the focus beyond just uh, David and Karen, their life a little bit? Just touch on some of that briefly, if you could. Yeah, some have been describing it as like one part action film, one part action war documentary, one part kind of missionary backstory. You know, the the film centers on the story of the Eubank family. Uh, Dave Eubank grew up in Thailand, then he went through Arm, uh, A&M Corps of Cadets, then he went through Army Rangers, uh, 82nd Airborne, and then he went to 1st Special Forces Group uh, at Fort Lewis in Washington. So he very quickly climbed the ranks uh, into, you know, the elite of our military. Uh, but he asked after seven, eight years, is that all God had for him to do? He, had, he decided to get out of the Army uh, with rank of major and went to Fuller Seminary uh, and started pursuing what else it might look like. Um, but while he was there, he both met his wife and got a call from his dad saying, hey, there's people. His dad, by the way, was a been a missionary in Thailand for 50 plus years. Uh, his dad called him from kind of the border area and said, there's people here who saw your military photo on the wall, and I th they think that you would be able to help them with their situation. So he came over and began doing trips, and that was soon after that a major military offensive happened, and he responded with $100 in the bag of medicine in his pocket, uh, $100. And uh, one by one, people joined him, and they, they began – kind of forming these small relief teams that would go through the jungles. And that was what, in the mid-90s, uh, kind of spawned the Free Burma Rangers. It was all just kind of grew grew by accident. It's amazing. Where, where are some of the areas that you actually filmed? We filmed in Karen State and Kachin State and Shan State of Burma. Karen State borders Thailand. Kachin State and Shan State are in the north of Myanmar, and they border China. There's obviously, I know that, you know, a few years ago is when a lot of these areas were kind of infiltrated and taken over by the Islamic State and those kinds of things. Is that still the condition there? What's it kind of like in that general area? Oh, yeah, I should I should back up and say I only filmed in Burma. Most of the footage in the film I thought would be mine, but actually ended up not being. Most of the footage was archive footage provided by FBR video cameramen who filmed over the last 20 years in Burma, and then those same individuals, their lead videographers and cameramen, filmed a lot of the compelling footage that takes place in Iraq. So what we thought was going to start off as a film about Burma ended up being a film that 60%, 60 percent of the film takes place in Iraq. Wow. And all that footage was, was filmed by them as well. It just it's just the dynamic nature of that so much of it is uh, it was filmed in Iraq and the influence of Islamic State and that kind of thing. So I kind of wanted you to touch on that briefly. Yeah, the so the bulk of the film kind of chronicles the height of violence was in Mosul, uh, which is the historic city of Nineveh in the Bible. It's in the north of Iraq. And that uh that was the last stronghold of isis that the kurds and the iraqi army uh kind of swept through the outer uh, countryside small villages uh, sweeping isis out of those places but then when they got to the large metro area that took an entire eight months for the iraqi army to completely recapture the city and and rid it of all the tunnels and cells and um, remaining isis fighters and so that's where most of the stories in the latter part of our film come from, was the Battle of Mosul. It's called Free Burma Rangers, folks. It arrives in cinemas for two nights, February 24th and 5th. Fathom Events is something that we partner with a lot. You can get tickets through them. You can, of course, get more information at uh, fbrmovie.com, and you can get some information there.